Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our children's time. So I want to give you a sentence, and I want you to fill in the blank. So if I said, from sunup to sundown, people all over the world plan their day around the same thing, how would you complete the sentence? From sunup to sundown, people all over the world plan their day around the same thing. And that is what? Well, for some of you who are really big sports fans, you may say around soccer or football or basketball, right? Some of you who really love music might say people plan their day around music, listening to music. For those of you who um, really love computer games, you might say that they plan their day around playing video games, right? But if you're Jeremy Shaver, you're going to say people all over the world from sunup to sundown plan their day around the same thing, and that is food. And in fact, that's not just uh, Jeremy, that is uh, true, right? People all over the world plan their day around meal times. So they plan their day around food of every kind, salty or sweet, soft or crunchy, plain or mixed, and people eat at different times and in different ways, right? Some use their hands, some use chopsticks, some might use a fork. And this is what we hold in common all across the world. Um, I can think of some very special meal times. I, I love gathering around the table with family and friends and neighbors. That's one of the things that I love to do most. And so it's been a little hard during this uh, time of pandemic to not be able to gather around the table in close settings and have good conversations, uh, share some yummy food together. Um, one of my favorites is spaghetti and meatballs. I wonder what you all love, but there's so many meals I can think of. I also really love gathering together around the communion table as a community of faith, to gather together for the Lord's Supper, we call it, for communion, for Holy Communion. Um, that is one of my favorite things. I love to see people from all different backgrounds in our congregation walk forward to receive the bread and the juice and uh, share that meal time together. So today, is World Communion Sunday. We're talking about World Communion Sunday today, and we won't be able to all be in the same physical space, right? But we all, we who call ourselves Christians, who follow the Christian path, are planning our day around one thing together today, and that is food. That is the Lord's Supper. That is bread and grape juice or wine. Um, and it might look different in different countries. The bread will be different, the juice or the wine might be different, um, but that's what we're gathering together around today, and it's a shared experience. So as we share in communion this morning, I want you to remember that even though we are not physically together, the Holy Spirit, God's Spirit, the promise of God's Spirit that connects all of us is very much at work and very present. So when we share whatever we have at our homes, the, the bread and juice, the bread and wine that we've chosen for our own meal this morning, as we eat and as we drink, remember that God's Spirit is connecting all of us across the globe this day as we gather around uh, the table for this very special meal. I hope you all will have an opportunity to open your eyes and your minds and your hearts to truly feel God's presence as we gather together around that meal. Um, so let's say a prayer together. Loving God, we thank you for um, providing so abundantly to us. We pray that you be with and provide for all of those who are experiencing hunger, who are experiencing loneliness and separation. Let today be a day where we feel truly connected, powerfully connected, and that our spirits, our hearts feel full and, our, and everybody's tummies will be full too. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good week, everyone.